Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from the TurningGate.net. Today we're going to be looking at the Lightroom web module and we're going to be talking about the image info pane. Um, one of the things I get a lot of questions about from users of my web galleries for Lightroom is how to edit or customize uh, the information that's used for titles, captions, and other image info items here in the web module. Um, the information that is used by these exist in the image's IPTC data. And to talk about that, I'm going to flip over to the library module briefly. Now here you can see I've isolated the images I'm using for my gallery. Over here under the metadata pane, um, I have my metadata. And metadata consists of EXIF data, which is the information your camera records about an image at the time the photo is taken and IPTC data, which uh, is kind of a catch-all for lots of different kinds of information, everything from titles and captions to location, uh, labels, copyright information, things like that. Um, and any of that information can be used in the web module. So the first thing you need to do for each image is fill in that information, whatever you want to use, and it doesn't matter where you put it. Um, if you have your own system, that's fine. For these images, you can see I filled in the title, the caption, the copyright um, for each one. And it's different for each one. This one's called From Ingalls Overlook. This one's called Falling Springs. Um, and that's that. So once you have all your IPTC data filled in, uh, all you need to do is know where it is. Then you can jump back to the web module. Uh, here's my gallery. Now we're working in the image info pane. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be working with this one, annotation, uh, because it's shown right there on the screen. It's easy to see, easy to change. Um, to turn it off and on, we just uncheck and check the box. And you can disable any of these that you're not using. Um, the way that we change the information that's being used by each item is by going over here to the right, clicking this, and you get a drop-down box. Um, and in the box, you can choose a couple of different things. We've got date, exposure, uh, and a few other items. And you can see that as I change these, the content of the annotation is changing. Uh, and again, it's drawing all this information from the EXIF data or the IPTC data uh, that's filled into the metadata in the library. Um, now that's pretty basic, but where this gets really powerful is when you choose to do custom settings because you can tell Lightroom to get information from any IPTC field or any combination of IPTC fields and fill it in to uh, that area, uh, in this case into the annotation. So to do that, what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to select uh, Edit. And this is where you change what you want here. You can see I have it set to Exposure. That's what's in this box. And what's in this box is what's going to get used for the annotation. Uh, you've got your presets up here. We're setting this to Custom. And I'm going to get rid of the Exposure. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in uh, some numbering. So maybe I'm going to say, I'm going to use a three-digit number. No, I'll use a two-digit number. Why not? Um, and it inserts that automatically. And then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to type a slash. Maybe I want the total number of images. So again, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to choose total number, two digits. And I put that in. Then maybe a space and a dash. And uh, I want to put in the title. So I come down here to where it says title. I hit insert. And now you can see up here in the box, I've got image number, total number, and title. And they're separated here by a slash and a dash. And when I hit done, it changes it to uh, what I've specified. So here we've got 1 slash 5. So this is image number 1 of 5. Here's my separating dash. There's the title of my image. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Good luck.